Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? All right, well, we didn't really set anything up to look all professional and anything, but it's kind of because we're in a little bit of a hurry. Why would we be in a hurry? Because we want to open up a package? Uh, that's right! Uh, so, yes, we got a box that we did not anticipate coming. It's big and heavy! <laughs> and this <laughs> box is from... Gaming Off The Grid! Now, Gaming Off The Grid, if you have not checked them out, couple of uh, really awesome guys over on YouTube who not only do they review video games but yes they review beers and they review beers in every single episode so it's not like you'll get they're a review poor. once in a while all I have to say is they're poor livers <laughs> <laughs> all right well we are going to tear into this box and see what's in there All right, so the box is open, and already there are all kinds of goodies in here. There's a note. Shall I do the honors? You shall. All right. Do you, nerd? Hope this package finds you both well. Enjoy a couple cold ones on us this time. You guys have been so great to us, and we truly appreciate it. Best of luck to you both with your channel, and hopefully we can meet up at Missouri Game Con. Cheers. Keep gaming. Keep drinking. Robert and Wes. So thank you guys. Nice. Now, if you didn't know, I'll leave a link in the description, but we had sent them some beers to try out because we have a couple of breweries we in do. our own hometown. So a little hometown pride that we thought these guys deserved to try. And they returned the favor. So we got some business, whoops. Nice, got some guys, business cards. these are nice business cards. Yeah, they are cards. nice business cards. Love them, thanks. Well, definitely, we'll keep one, but we may uh, pass the others out. There's a. Stack of oh, some right goodies. Off the back. So, uh, I'll give you this little guy right oh. off the back. It's adorable. This is awesome. Thank you, guys. A little Toon Link. Oh, a little Toon Link. And I just want to note, he can put his sword into his sheet on his back. And this will look nice on the Zelda shrine. So, thank <laughs> you very much. Then we got a Nintendo Power. The Power! Nintendo Power. And then we got a Game Pro. We. With Abe on the back. I oh like my gosh. I like Abe. He's cute. Guys, thank you so much. He sounds funny. First of all, I'm trying to collect some Nintendo yes. Power, and Game Pro is always great to look at because uh, they did all the systems. Yeah. So it's great to look back and see what was super awesome back in the day. Like, whoa! Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. I might have oversold it for that game. <laughs> a little bit. And uh, not as fun as Bubble Wrap because that just like makes a, an exploding noise. It does, but still, J Love, I know. the big one for you. Oh wow, that was so disappointing. <laughs> Try it again, J Love. Yo, oh, there's a big one. Here, let's see if I can do one. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Ah, ah. <laughs> that was a really good one. Alright, there's one more. Alright, alright. So, and then it's all wrapped up. Oh, look at the little bubble wrap. There we that's go. That's a good, that's satisfying. All right, we'll play with that later. All right, so first of all, I'm actually curious. Now, we had picked up their beers from our local hy -Vee, so is this the same box? Did you guys just send it back just to us? <laughs> so, there's some more cards. Sweet. Woo! And then there's a big bubble wrap. You think you can pop that one? Oh, wow! Oh, jeez, that was a loud one! <laughs> and there's candy! Oh. Candy! Oh, <laughs> I'm not picking those up. She did it. Look at all the candy! Good candies, too. Now, Werther's. Real real quick they <laughs> they sent us a nice little six pack here of mixed ones and uh we'll hold these up so you could show those off we have here exile beatnik sour and exile ruthie and then we've got a pseudo sue pale ale and i believe i have heard them talk this one up quite a bit as well as a des moines india pale ale and uh, little tiny do you nerd fact ladies and gentlemen i was born and raised until three years old in Des Moines, Iowa. Nice. <laughs> oh, tip the cow. Coco Espresso Milk nice. Stout. That sounds awesome. And then we have a Blonde Fatale Ale. And check out the little bottle. It's so this. cute. I like the little tiny neck. It's so cute. 
All right, well, we're probably going to jump cut here because we're going to follow this up with some taste testing after we let these guys sit in the fridge for a little bit and get nice and chilled. All right, so we have let these chill overnight and it is time to get into them. Now, uh, typically we share stuff. We do. But I think you were a little excited to try one yourself. Well, not all by myself. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're going to try two right now. Yes. So, uh, ladies first, what did you pick out? I chose to try the Tip the Cow Coco Espresso Milk Stout. And that already sounds awesome. Yes. I will also be the first to admit, I'm, act I'm not a very big beer drinker. I actually didn't really start drinking beer until we got together because... Um, everyone I've, I'd ever been around before was like Coors and Bush and, you know, Miller. And there's nothing wrong with those. It's just I've never enjoyed those flavors. And then he introduced me to the more, like... Like the craft the beers. The craft beers and the beers that have flavors in them. And I was like, oh, these aren't so bad. I still haven't gotten, after 10 years, I still haven't gotten to the point where I can drink a whole one myself. But, you know, I, I that's why you. we always share. I can help you out with that. <laughs> All right, and uh, now on yours, it does say, have you ever reveled in the essence of a chocolate-covered espresso bean? How about in the form of a beer? This full-bodied creamy milk stout has been touched by the gentle hand of sidecar coffee roasters, mm. resulting in a rich but smooth option, boasting notes of roast and cocoa alongside velvety sweetness. It does sound good. So uh, the question for gaming off the grid is sidecar coffee roasters is that like a local like coffee, a coffee shop, shop or, or anything something? this also says that it is 6.2 percent volume Woo! so from the single speed brewing company so let's crack this bad boy open stay what does that say stray from the beaten path so let's stray from the path Oop, we got a little bit of fizz going on here Get a little bar towel I can already smell like kind of like a coffee and beer kind of all at the same time. Oh yeah. It's uh it's very much like basically it's like you cracked open a beer while sitting in the coffee shop, which might get you a weird look otherwise. But yeah. as far as the smell goes. I'm trying to get too much fit on there. That is Thick. Yeah, it is. And take a look at that. I'll turn my Deadpool glass around so you can kind of see. It is a very, th almost like a Guinness, I feel like. So, uh, wow. That is really very coffee y, if that's a word. <laughs> I like that though. That's good. It's like a very bold, dark roast coffee. And then you kind of yes. have that. Then you have the hoppiness, like, in the background. Oh, yeah, I like that. I still don't... <laughs> of course, I never was a coffee drinker before you either, so I don't think I could drink the whole thing by myself, just like I can't drink a whole thing of coffee by myself. But that's now, really good. I do like stouts, and I do like coffee. So this is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm getting just a little bit of, uh, of like, the chocolate. It's almost like a uh, dark bitter... Mm -hmm. chocolate yeah so what do you think this would pair really well with well my first instinct is to say like a like a, a chocolate like a dark chocolate so just kind of add it kind of add, add some, some chocolate more chocolate to, to, it, to it yeah or maybe a, a cheese a good like sharp cheddar oh that'd be good a good sharp cheddar would probably be really that'd good be with real this. Nice. yeah I'm going to cleanse my palate <laughs> before we try the next one because I want to really get the full right full good on flavor. right I uh, I don't think that uh, you know a stout you kind of have to dedicate to drinking a stout and not really mix it with anything mm. else good clean crisp fresh <laughs> spring water it's always good nice filter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> I enjoy this <laughs> now since we were trying the two he chose one and uh I thought that it might counter the stout a little bit because this is Exile Ruthie. And first of all, we are always fans of the label art on beers. Oh, yeah. It's always so much fun. So that is a lot of fun. So, uh, She's yeah. uh, balancing the <laughs> beer uh, pint, the pint glasses, glasses on her bosom here. Nice. That's, uh, that's a great. The other thing I will say is you are very much a seasonal um, temperature drinker. Yes. You like 
the lighter stuff when it's hot or warmer mm -hmm. outside and the darker stuff when it's cooler stuff or that outside. uh the more crisp something is mm -hmm. the better i like it the warmer it is yeah. and then uh you know anything that's really dark stout you know has more of a bitterness to it definitely cold weather drink yeah so i can me. definitely see the you drinking this in the winter time when it's cold so exile ruthie it reads on the back this smooth gold lager is quite grand, the most balanced beer in all the land. Inspired by Iowa's iconic bartender, behold, it's Ruthie in all her splendor. Now, I was born in Iowa, and I don't remember a thing about Ruthie, but I did move away when I was three, so... And hopefully at three you weren't uh, checking out. Well, you know. <laughs> this is a 5.2% by volume alcohol, so do you think it's a twisty or a poppy? Yeah, well, it's not saying anything about twisting. Well, so, good thing we've got the predator. We've right got here. the predator right here who can help us out. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Is it a cool bottle top? I didn't even look at that. Just as enjoy your exile. Sometimes it's fun to they do fun stuff on bottle crap. Sometimes it's fun to enjoy your exile. Yeah. Ooh, look at that, that color. Is golden. Wow, you definitely we definitely picked the two ends of the spectrum here. <laughs> so I notice there's not a lot of head on this one either, so I don't know if that has anything to do with the kind of beer it is. I don't it's know a whole almost, lot about head on beer. It almost smells like um kind of like a almost like a sour caramel. Yeah. That's good. It's not um it's not as light as it looks. There's uh, there's like a little more of kind of a, a crunch to it. Uh huh. Like it, it is, is crisp. it is very crisp. Mhm. Mm yeah. Because you look at this and with how light it looks, it, it seems like it's just going to be uh, like very mild, very smooth. But there's a little more backbone to it. I like that though. You initially get a lot of hopness, but then it goes away almost immediately. And it doesn't linger on your tongue. No, it does not linger at all. There's almost, um, like the aftertaste, there's almost like a, like a honey. And I don't know if it's just because of the color. It might be. <laughs> it might <laughs> just be just making honey me think honey. Brain. But uh, I like that. Yeah. That's very good. And the funny thing is, you were saying just by the uh, the coloring of them that we were at opposite ends of the yeah, spectrum. Yeah, and it taste-wise, the same thing. These are very much opposite ends of the spectrum of when I would like to drink them. You know, yeah. definitely cold weather, yeah. definitely warm weather. Uh, I mean, I would love having these, you know, you know the hotter it is, yeah. the better this is going to taste, the colder it is, this is going to be I like awesome. this one. I feel like I could drink this one more than some other ones because it doesn't stick around. And I like, I like things that don't stick around. Yeah. Stick around. Stick around. Stick around. But I don't enjoy beers that, you know, you get that flavor in there and then it just kind of lingers on your tongue. This would be good with a pizza or some really oh, salty, yeah. Yeah. salty yeah. French oh, fries. Yes. Get a nice plate of nachos going. Yeah, nachos or uh, Dublin's home fries. Oh, yeah. Because they load those bad boys up with salt. <laughs> and I know why they're doing it, because they want you to buy more beer. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, these were very, very delicious for our first taste yes. of Iowa beers. We have four more tastes of Iowa to go Ooh, off of. I'm already looking forward to those. I know, me too, because this is, I'm like, it's almost like this is a taste of what I would have experienced had I grown up in Iowa rather than moved away when I was so younger. Good point. So much Good younger. Point. So, so this is kind of fun for me because it's like going home. So. All right. Well, starting off, gaming off the grid. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Candy Air. I know, you made a mess. I know, but how fun was that? Oh, nice. So we got a okay, little ready? note. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes.